these are putting off some very threatening auras. Okay, so today we're gonna do something different. I say that a lot, which is strange. But anyways, this is different. Speedy here, which I'll show you why it's named Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez, has been around since last year. I think early last year, like, I don't know. Sometime for June. Anyways, besides the point, this truck is special. We'll start with this one, and we'll go to the Chevy later. This truck is special because it's a 2005 GMC uh, SLT. Uh, I don't think you could get a sunroof in this year. I think it has every option that you could get. Um, I, I believe they had a sunroof option in 06 and 07, which became technically like an SLT2, or if it was a Chevrolet, it'd be an LT2. Um, but anyways, this truck is special because it has what's called an outlaw package. I did some research on this and apparently only Fords came with this. So somehow or another, this truck ended up leaving the dealership and pretty much going straight to, uh, was it AJ Vans? Yeah, AJVans.com. It's a website, they're out of business now, but they're a conversion company and they primarily did vans, but they also did Ford trucks with this package, but somehow, this GMC got it. Now I'll show you the, the few stickers that it does have. Um, it's got a wheel lock code right there and the torque specifications. And then it has the information about uh, the paint and stuff they did. Um, so basically with the outlaw package, what did you get? You got the sweet two-tone you got the decals, the pinstriping. You got a power sliding rear window, which I'll, sh I'll show you the switch over there. You got this beautiful fake carbon fibre interior trim, which is holding up pretty well, considering the truck has uh, over 300,000 miles. Um, it did have aftermarket wheels on it. They were gone when I got the truck. So these are some Mickey Thompson 16 by eights which in the sticker over here, it came, oh yeah, you got this sweet billet grill insert um, in the door here where they added the other sticker for AJ Vans. Um, you can see that they went over and uh, five of 05 and 16 by eight. So it did have aftermarket wheels. Um, this truck probably had 245s like a lot of them, but they put 265s on it. These are now 285s. You see this truck was manufactured in 4 of 05. So literally right after this truck, oh yeah, there you go, 245s, which is really common for the Duramaxes. Um, so yeah, right after this truck was built, it got sent to AJ Vans and they did the conversion on it. Here's the power sliding window uh, switch. Of course, you got the dark leather interior, heated seats, which is really nice. I uh, I did the cow hood, replaced the fenders, replaced the bed, uh, a lot of little things. But the truck was already studded, tuned, and deleted with a five-position switch. You probably saw it dangling in there. Um, it's had new head gaskets put on. Heads have been freshened up. It's got a 64 millimeter turbo of some you know, flavor, not really sure. Do the colder intake, new batteries. Um, I put some injectors in it, just some mild stuff. Still got more to do to it, but just a really basic setup and it's a lot of fun to drive with or without a trailer. Toes very well. Um, I had to fix the frame when I had the bed off because the cross members rot out. It's got four inch straight pipe. It's got airbags on it. Tail lights, still loose, it's broke. There you go. Speedy Gonzales. And if you know, you know that that's an old cartoon. It was really awesome. Ooh, wow, look at those squirrels. Nice. Uh, got a uh, 
toolbox that sits down below the bed. It'd be kind of nice to put a tonneau cover on this eventually for when I'm not pulling the trailer. Got a four to six inch tip. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, being an 05, if you don't know, this is an LOY, which people say is the most unreliable one, but I haven't had any failures out of this truck, so I personally really like it. In my personal opinion, I would prefer an 05 LOI because they were the most sorted of LOIs. Um, 06 seemed to have more electrical problems from what I've heard. Uh, and the best thing about the LOI is you get the VGT turbo, which yes, can have problems, but it helps a lot with towing. Um, I like that the inject, uh, injectors are external. They're outside the valve covers. Uh, they don't snap cranks like an LBZ because this is basically an LBZ engine just with a, a uh, This has a Fickham the LBZ doesn't and this has a five-speed Allison instead of a six-speed which that's technically a six-speed Allison They just don't have the different TCM and valve body um, But these don't snap cranks like the LBZs do Now for the newest edition I've always wanted another ZF6 Duramax, and they're very hard to find, especially one that's not completely rotted away, or uh, extended cab long bed, crew cab long bed, or a bad color, or a base model, or this or that. Well, or expensive, which I don't know if I mentioned that or not. This kind of just fell into my lap, uh, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace late one night, and just happened to see this on there. I was like, that surely can't be right because they had it priced pretty cheap, and it was. Drove a few hours away to get it. It's a 2002, which is the best year in my opinion for a GMT 800, uh, LS package, 2500 HD, 6.6 .6 Duramax, LB7, with a ZF6 six-speed manual. Now, what's really cool is this truck uh, has power windows, power locks, keyless entry it's got the original window sticker by the way both the original remotes um, you know you got carpet you got the, the good mats the better seats uh, no power windows though which is very strange because it had these optional like camper mirrors and it was wired for like a uh, snow plow prep package so it's got the auxiliary lamp button and you got the leather wheel so it's a very well optioned truck originally came from Wisconsin so it does have a little bit of rod on it but it wasn't there for too long because I mean you know the back of the frame is actually very very clean I mean it's not even like really rough scaly it's just like very light basically what we get down here um, this is the only dent in the truck that sucks and the gas lids rotted out so that sucks has 223,000 miles uh, I should mention speedy has 329 so you can see the difference between the mileage on a farm truck with low mileage and of course that truck was way more rougher, way more rougher, way rougher than this one when I first got it because the bed was destroyed, the fenders were just rotted right away, uh, and the hood was because I had a hood stack on it one time. But that's besides the point. This side's very straight. Um, the tailgate was destroyed because you know fifth wheel so I had this laying around kind of goes with the like old man truck style which I like rear bumper was completely rotted away like just hanging on by a thread I've never seen one that bad and somehow the bolts came out so put a new bumper on it bone stock stock exhaust um, completely stock under the hood actually I should show you that because it's very very clean and very tidy and the doors just shut so good on this thing uh, it's a two owner by the way I mean look matching Napa batteries um, all the original boots um, I did have to replace a power steering line here so it's still a little Alright, well sorry about that, had a weird GoPro failure there. It's probably the third time that's happened. Um, probably need to look into a new GoPro. 
But anyways, yeah, very tidy under the hood. But the main point of this video is to show Speedy that's been in the background a lot in videos. And uh, if y'all want to see more about these, primarily with the ZF6, because I do plan on very lightly and tastefully modifying this truck while keeping it looking original because I think that's what it deserves. And uh, probably some modifications to Speedy, as in like uh, traction bars and uh, a few little cosmetic things, restoring the rest of the frame, doing something with the rockers. Same goes for this, something with the rockers needs to be done um, because overall the rust is not bad on these trucks, especially not Speedy anymore with uh, the fenders and the bed that I've al already replaced. But anyways, yeah, let me know if, if you all want to see modifications done to the Duramaxes. Uh, haven't really had much diesel content on here, so it'd be something different.